Hi, I'm Chia Suan Chong. And I am a course development consultant and the author for Pearson's ELTD. Today, instead of simply talking about Pearson Certified Online Learning Programs for Educators, I thought I would like to explore with you the 10 things that teachers look for in a professional development course. After all, I've taken many professional development courses in my career. I've done the CELTA, the Diploma in the Delta, the Masters in Applied Linguistics and English Language Teaching, the LCCI Third Tab, amongst many others. I've also developed and conducted and delivered many professional development courses myself. I was a CELTA tutor, an Erasmus Plus tutor, and also a Trinity Cert IBET tutor. So I thought I could take the knowledge I've gathered and the thoughts I've gathered over the years about professional development and share them with you today in this presentation. But before that, let's first consider the reasons why teachers develop professionally. Why is it important to engage in continual professional development? A friend of mine once said, doctors, engineers, IT personnel, all engage in continual professional development because they need to know what's happening. They need to keep up to date with the latest research, the latest developments, the latest needs of their clients so as to be effective in their jobs. So why should teachers be any different? After all, research on language learning is continuously happening. We know more and more about how languages are learned every day, every year. Our students' needs change over the years and our teaching circumstances change as demonstrated in the last two years. And in order to truly be effective in teaching and becoming better at what we do, we need to continually develop professionally. The famous ELT writer Penny Err once said, it's been said that teachers who have been teaching for 20 years may be divided into two categories. Those with 20 years experience and those with one year's experience repeated 20 times. I know which type of teacher I would rather be. I would certainly like to be the teacher that's continuously learning, developing, reflecting on my, my work, my practice, and gaining those 20 years of experience and not simply be doing the same thing every year, year in, year out. But I suppose I don't have to preach to you the importance of professional development because after all, you're here with me today to find out more about how teachers can develop professionally. So let's dive in. Why do teachers develop professionally and what do they look for? in a professional development course. The first thing teachers look for is the opportunity to deepen their knowledge about teaching, about language learning. We ask the question, why do we do what we do? Many teachers follow the instructions in teachers books, in course materials, in course books, but do we truly know the reasons the theories that underlie the activities we carry out in our classes. We might, for example, get students to repeat after us. But what does this say about what we believe about language learning? Does this say that we believe languages, languages are learned simply by repetition? In order to truly become more effective, we really need to understand the theories, the reasons, behind those practical activities we carry out. Different teachers might deepen their knowledge in different ways. Some teachers are fairly new to teaching and they might want to find out about lesson planning and learn better classroom management techniques. They might want to find out about effective teaching strategies or ways of assessing their students. For new teachers in Pearson's Teller portfolio, we have courses like Classroom Foundations, where teachers are able to delve deeper into topics like planning and management, effective teaching strategies, and assessment. 
For teachers who are experienced at teaching, perhaps they're looking for a course that can actually build on what they already know on their many years of teaching experience. Perhaps a course that can show them alternative ways, new ways even, of doing those things. A course that allows them to experiment and try new ideas out while guiding them at the same time. And for that, we have the Pearson ELTD, which I wrote. Here's an example from the, one of the modules, Teaching the Four Language Systems, the unit on grammar. We have a look at different types of approaches to grammar, whether it be the deductive or the inductive approach, the approach towards conscious, consciousness raising and noticing grammar, dealing with emergent grammar, different approaches that, that are introduced to teachers and then enable teachers' ideas to try them out in their classrooms. Another reason why teachers engage in professional development and also another thing that teachers look for in their courses is the ability to not just deepen their knowledge, but to also expand their knowledge. We know a lot about teaching grammar, perhaps. Some of us know a lot about teaching lexis or pronunciation, but what else do we need to know? What other skills should we be developing in our students? We know that English is now the world's lingua franca, and many of our students will be speaking English, not just to people from America or from Britain, but, from, but they'll be using English to communicate internationally with people from all around the world. How are we helping them to develop those skills for successful international communication? What are we doing to help them with their social and emotional learning, to become more self-aware, for example, to manage those relationships with the people they communicate with? What do we know about well-being, learner well-being, and how this might affect their motivation and their success? At Pearson, we have a course specializing, for example, on mindfulness for educators. Or if global citizenship is a topic that tickles your fancy, perhaps a course on global citizenship and leadership for teachers. In the course ELTD that I wrote, we also look at issues like mindfulness, well-being, English as a lingua franca, and also global issues. And current topics like critical thinking, successful international communication. These are all topics that we know are important to students today. Students using English to communicate around the world. How are we preparing them to do that? We need to engage in professional development to equip ourself, ourselves so that we can prepare students to do these things. Teachers are looking for courses that provide discussions and topics that are current and relevant. Perhaps a course that helps us to know more about recent research into language learning and how that might change or adapt the way we teach languages. We talked about English being a global language so that we can communicate with people from all around the world. But let's dive deeper into that. How are we helping students with their pronunciation so that they are intelligible to most of the people around the world? In ELTD, for example, we deal with this topic in one of our lessons. There's been a lot of research to show that the lexical approach is a great way of presenting language and helping students learn language more effectively this can have impact on a student's fluency in English, for example. But what do teachers know about the lexical approach? What do teachers know about the recent research into the lexical approach and how this can be applied to the language classroom? Perhaps grammar is the teacher's interest, but what do they know about alternative grammar concepts and recent research into different ways of teaching grammar. Aside from discussions that are current, we also want to be looking at discussions that are relevant to me in these times. In the last two years, many teachers have been involved in live online lessons 
A course like ELTD's Teaching with Technology module can help teachers to learn more about teaching online and teaching digital literacy. For shorter courses, we have Teach Online with Impact that also deals with a teacher's confidence and ability to teach online in virtual classrooms. The fourth thing that teachers want to look for in a course is flexibility. We don't have a lot of time these days and we want to be able to develop professionally anytime, anywhere with my laptop, with my mobile phone. I want to be able to stand on a, in a train going to work and use those 20 minutes I have very productively learning about teaching. And that's what a course like ELTD or um, any of the telecourses allow you to do. And that's why we call them on the go courses because we are able to develop professionally while being on the go. Aside from flexible courses, teachers also want those courses to be bite-sized. That means short learning lessons that we can fit into our very, very busy schedules. 15 to 20 minutes is how long it takes to do one lesson in Pearson's ELTD course, for example. We also want our input to be fun and enjoyable. On ELTD, we have animated videos. We have podcasts. We have interactive activities that teachers can do on their laptop, on their phone, and then really truly engage with the input. But we also understand that we learn not just by listening. This applies to both students and teachers. We learn by doing. And so we get teachers to be in the position of the students to do exercises and games and activities and interactives so that they are able to understand an approach, to understand what they're learning by doing. After doing, teachers also need feedback. They need to know how well they're doing. They need to know not just if they've got it right or wrong, and in some cases, there are no right or wrong answers. They need reassurance. They need to know where they're going. And the feedback on our courses guides the teachers in this way. Kongzi or Confucius once said, I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand. Ting er yi wang, jian er yi ji, zuo er yi dong. And we take this very seriously. It is important that teacher trainees and participants in our courses actually engage in these interactors by doing and not just listening to the input. As teachers, we also want lots of practical ideas, not just the theory. We want lots of suggestions and ideas that we can take and apply them to our class when we go to school on Monday morning. And that's what a lot of our lessons do we offer teachers practical tools and activities that they can try out and experiment with and even reflect on and make notes in their learning journal to think about how well it worked and how well it didn't work and what could be improved and adapted to make it work for your students. Because at the end of the day, it is important that what teachers learn and what teachers receive on these courses are adaptable to their teaching context and to their different types of learners. There is no one correct way of teaching, and we understand that. And so we ask teachers to reflect because the importance of reflection and self-awareness is where we can make teachers become better and more effective at adapting what they learn and adapting the materials that they use. And finally, Teachers want to know what certificates and qualifications they can obtain from the course. In Pearson, in any of the Pearson Teller courses, teachers will receive a Pearson certificate, but they will also receive, get this, a badge to put on their LinkedIn professional accounts so that perhaps future employers or current employers can learn about the effort and time they're investing in their own professional development. If they do the Pearson ELTD, then they will have the opportunity to obtain a Trinity qualification, an off qual level six qualification, the CERT PT. And so there you have it. 
10 things that teachers look for in the professional development courses. Thank you for listening. I'm Chia Swan Chong. I hope to engage with you in the question and answer very soon. See you.